Let's read A Library Book for Bear, written by Bonnie Becker, illustrated by Katie McDonald Denton. This is a Candlewood Press book. Bear had never been to the library. He had seven very nice books at home, three about kings and queens, three about honeybees, and one about pickles. Bear was quite sure he had all the books he would ever need. One morning, Bear heard a tap, tap, tapping on his door. When he opened the door, there was Mouse, small and gray and bright-eyed. We're off, exclaimed Mouse, with a big happy wag of his whiskers, and Bear frowned. He had agreed to go with Mouse to the library, but now he was quite sure it was a dreadful mistake. Completely unnecessary, Bear announced. I have all the books I need right here. Oh, there are many delightful books in the library, Mouse assured him. <laughs> he grumbled. But he had promised. So he buckled up his red roller skates and stepped outside, grabbing a basket for the books. Bear skated and Mouse rode in the basket to the library. The wind rippled nicely through their fur. But when they got to the library, Bear didn't like how big it looked. There are far more many books in there, he protested, most excessive. Oh no, it's quite exciting, Mouse said, leading Bear through the tall doors. In the library, there were more books than Bear had ever thought there could be, and he quickly found a tucked away corner. But even here, there were lots and lots of books. <laughs> Terribly extravagant. Bear's voice was a little loud. I shall find you the perfect one, Mouse said quietly in his library voice. What about pickles? demanded Bear after all. He only had one of those. But Mouse had whisked away. Mouse came back with a thick green book, and Bear opened it. Rocket ships! <laughs> Ridiculous! And Bear's voice was getting louder. A good book about pixels, pickles is all I require. Remember, quiet in the library, murmured the mouse as he scurried off. He soon returned with a tall yellow book. I'm not interested in wooden canoes. Bear's voice was even louder. Quiet voices in the library, the mouse reminded him. My voice is always quiet, Bear shouted, and I will find my own book, and I will assure you that pickles are quite interesting. Mouse didn't look so sure, but Bear quickly spotted a big blue book with a pickle on the spine, and the mouse sprang to the shelf to get it. Inside, a picture of pickles, and the pickles had little fairy wings, and they were dancing with petunias. No dancing pickles, Bear roared. Shh, said a voice. Bear peeked around the bookshelf, and there sat a librarian with a cluster of youngsters gathered around her. And the librarian smiled, and a mother squirrel squished an angry finger into her lips, and an old raccoon said certainly, quiet in the library. Bear turned back to the huffy sniff. I know when I'm not wanted, he told Mouse. I want to go home. Surely at least one book, Mouse began. But Bear cut him off. I have all the books I need. He looked quite certain. Then we're off, said Mouse, but his whiskers didn't wag this time. 
Bear stood stock still. He was listening carefully to the voice on the other side of the bookshelf. So the very brave bear began to inch his way around the treasure chest, the voice was saying. I'm ready, began Mouse. Shh, exclaimed Bear. You're just getting to the good part. But you said... Quiet voices in the library, Bear bellowed. This time the librarian got up and looked around the bookshelf at Bear. And Bear stood very still and quiet, as if he had been still and quiet all along. Would you like to in join us for story time? The librarian asked. Bear glanced at Mouse. We'd love to have you, said the librarian. Bear and Mouse scooted around the shelf and found two empty chairs, and the librarian began to read again. Bear lifted the lid of the treasure chest and inside, and the librarian paused, and Mouse and Bear strained forward. Inside was a mound of pickle slices, and each shining slice made more diamonds and gold. And everyone shouted, Hooray for the very brave bear. And then she said, The end. The bear stared dreamily at the into the space for a moment. And then he looked out over at the mouse and announced, As I said, pickles are so, are most interesting. Indeed, said, said mouse. <clears throat> Later, mouse wrote, mouse rode in the basket with seven new books. There were two about wooden canoes and two about rocket ships and two about teapots. And one called The Very Brave Bear and the Treasure of Pickle Island, which Bear read to Mouse that very same day. The end. We've been reading the library book for Bear, written by Bonnie Becker, illustrated by Katie McDonald Denton, and it's a Candlewood Press book.